Hey everyone, Luis here. Today's a quick video is to talk about the firmware updates for the Hallowed series. Uh, and in this case, I will show you uh, the, the updates that the, and the improvements that they developed on those uh, on this firmware. And definitely, it's an improvement from the previous uh, firmware. And the, the good thing is that to see that they listen to us and they address some of the problems that I mentioned on my Hallowed Sky and Hallowed Light uh, reviews. If you did not see these reviews yet, I will put here the links for you to, to see. But it's, it's great to see that they are working to improve the, the software and make the use of these printers uh, even better than, than what it is. And they also sent me the Hallowed Box Slicer, the new version. And I will show you a little bit of the improvements that they've done on the printers and also on the software with a very, very important feature that I've, I've asked and it's, I'm very happy to see that, that uh, implemented on this new version, okay? So stick with me and I'm going to, sh to guide you through this, this uh, quick video, okay? Thank you very much. Let's go to the printer now. Okay, uh, I'm here to show you the new uh, firmware update for the Halot uh, series of printers from Creality. And I have here the Halot Light and the Halot Sky. And I will talk a little bit about some of the, the improvements. And it's a big improvement, this new, new firmware, okay, for these printers. Uh, the first uh, thing is the one thing that I complained in, in my reviews for, for both printers, the, the sky and the, and the light, it's about the, the controls here to change the settings and they added here uh, minus and plus button to change the the settings that's huge they 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 kept the, the the control here on the slide but i think it's it's amazing to have the the buttons here to to have a more fine control over the the settings that's that's great and it also happens here on the on the sky too okay uh another thing that they they added here is the uh, you can print directly models directly from the Creality cloud and as you can see here another change is that it's possible now to to bind your printer to the Halot uh, cloud uh, because bef before this uh, this firmware it was not working now you can see the blue icon here it it means that it's it's connected to the cloud so you can get models directly from from the cloud for example this sonic here and you just download it and it downloads the the model and also it support it when needed and also slice it and you just do that and it works you see it downloaded you can come here and you see it's supported the model it's an interesting feature i'm really looking forward to see how that will work uh, in practice because it's it's a, a very very neat concept but uh, I would like to see how that will work uh, in practice, how uh, interesting that will be for us to, to have that uh, working uh, directly on the printer. Uh, another thing is that uh, we have the pause feature now. When you pause the, the print uh, during the, the printing process, you can, the, the build plate raises a little bit and you can see uh, what it's it's printing if it's it's good if you, if you can interrupt the the print and things like that so that that's an amazing thing and also they sent me the new Halot box uh, 
software. I will go to the PC now and show some of the features and on, on the hollowed box I think there is the main feature that I was looking for and I think it's just uh, uh, interesting to show you, okay? So let's, let's get back to the PC and I'll show you there. Okay, here's the new version of the uh, hollowed box. As you can see, it's different, right? It's uh, more dark dark skin instead of the, the clear, the, the white uh, skin that we had before on the previous version. It's a beta version, so they're still working on that. But uh, they've changed here. It's more in line with what we have in Lychee, for example, where you can have the layout, support, slice and export. It's, it's a little bit similar uh, with that. I'll put here a model just for you guys to see. Just a minute. Uh, da, da, da. This is this Batman thing here. Uh, okay. Here we have a model. It's super big. So I would just come here, scale. I would like to scale it to 50%. It's okay. It's just for us to, to see. But, uh, and you can just support it. And one thing that I think it's, it's interesting is that uh, there are a lot of options on the, on the support now. It's not uh, here. You can come here, for example, to, to automatic or advanced and you have a lot of control over the, the supports. Again, uh, in line with what we have with other slicers, but it's it's great to see that in a in a proprietary uh, slicer uh, like that. And if I come here, generate automatic. I just put any something just for us to see. And it's here. But if I can change here to light, for example, change the density tip diameter everything I'll put tip diameter like 30 all and that's it it's interesting they have also hollowing yes uh, I presume you can change here to two hollow and it's 3 3d hollow see it's completed hollowed and you can drill like some holes let's see here for example and that's it we have here the, the hole see it's very very cool I have to say uh, interesting interesting uh, improvements on the on the slicer but the for me the, the best improvement <laughs> is this one here and now I can change the the settings directly here on this on the slicer it's not it's not needed anymore for you to uh, change there you can change there on the printer if you want now it's easier right for you to do that but uh, it's not uh, mandatory anymore and you can have resin profiles here you see you can add here I don't know another resin and I say no it's reality water washable whatever and I would say here in this with this uh, it's two seconds the lift distance is that the number of first layers I like to be five Turn off the lid with two, and that's it. And you save, and that's it. You have now different uh, resin profile. For me, that's huge. Okay. And you, when you export the file, you need to slice first. And after you can send it directly to the printer. In this case, each I forgot the printer that I've selected, but 
If it's wrong, they will tell me. I think it's on the sky. Yeah, it's on the sky. If I've, I've sent it to the light, they will just say that the file format is not compatible. That's it. I think it's a huge improvement in terms of uh, software, and it's it's great to see that Reality is it's working on that and improving their software, both the slicer and the printer uh, itself. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.